I thought it's um, so that's yeah. That's, Psalm 96 is our responsorial psalm on Sunday. The second reading is a reading from the first book of Corinthians, chapter 12, 4 to 11. What is the idea of the second reading? We all have different gifts. We all have different gifts. And our job is to discover those gifts that we have been given. I, I believe I mentioned it more than once, more than two times here. You have to discover your own gift. I believe I've discovered mine. And I'm using them. I'm able to put together all these materials every week. <clears throat> despite the very busy schedule, according to the flesh. God is the origin of spiritual gifts. We have the listing here. See here, uh, starting with 7. To each is given manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom. Not everyone has wisdom. I mean, from God, okay? <clears throat> there, there are some people who have been gifted with special wisdom. And to another, the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. Some people have the wisdom but they cannot communicate it. They cannot uh, explain it. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one Spirit. See? To another, the working of miracles. Some people can do miracles. Some people can do prophecy. To another, to distinguish between spirits and other various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. I don't know if you have heard people speaking in tongues. <coughs> there has to be, there's also a gift of interpreting the speaking in tongues. All these are inspired by one and the same Spirit, who apportions to each one individually as he wills. <laughs> so we got a question, how come I was not given that gift? Well, don't question God. God gave, gave some the gift, and if the same gift is not given to you, then that's the way it is. You should be satisfied. <laughs> With what you have, yeah. And then the explanation is here. <clears throat> the, the only thing I would like to add here is, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as mentioned in the Catechism, as well as in the book of John, chapter 2, is not really exhaustive. Uh, we cannot limit God to what God can give us. Okay? So, the point here is, we may have more than what has been listed by St. Paul in terms of gifts. That's the way it is. Some people are, interestingly, very interesting to go to talk to, or some, some people are so boring, some people are, are, are able to crack jokes uh, every now and then, some people are not able to do that. Those are all special gifts. The Gospel is John chapter 2, the wedding at Cana, and in which we talked about. See this anymore? Um, <coughs> do you know how long the celebration uh, of, in a wedding in the Holy Land? A week. One week. One week of dancing, one week of eating, one week of drinking. That's why they ran out of wine. <laughs> Imagine one week. For us, maybe one hour, two at most, right? When, unless there's a DJ, maybe four hours if there's some dancing. But not even close to one week. That's, that's a lot of celebrations. 
It's in the it's in the uh, commentaries. You can see that in the commentaries. Relatives, friends would come to greet the newlyweds. Even people passing through could join. Wine was regarded as an indispensable element in meals. See, in the Holy Land, there will always be wine. That's part of eating. It's like our water. It's like our water. <clears throat> I like uh, commentary number three. The Blessed Mother appeared only twice in the book of John. One at, once at the wedding at Cana, and the other one in Calvary. You notice that uh, Jesus asked them to ask the people to fill up, fill up those jars up to the brim. What is the brim? That is the the very top. And over that, and, and water will will spill out. That's to the brim. Now the thing about that is the abundance of graces from God. That's the represent. That's what it represents. Fill up, fill up the jars up to the brim, meaning I will, my graces for you will be overflowing in abundance. There are other issues which you already know, like uh, somebody commented like, all right, uh, Normally, hosts serve the best wine first. When the people are drunk, they serve the less quality wine. But in, in Cana, what happened was the, yeah, the, the best wine was at the last. You have here a reflection by Reverend Larry Gillett, who is a Jesuit. You might want to read that too. The key verse here is do whatever he tells you. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else can add to that. That's do whatever he tells you. The very simple instruction from the Blessed Mother. Finally, commentary from Saint Ephraim in the fourth century, third century. What have you done is keep the choice wine until now. The best wine last. And then St. Romanus Melodius. <clears throat> you have to uh, kept the good wine until now. <clears throat> In, on, on next week we'll have uh, more on more on the wedding of Cana. You know if you get the chance to go to Holy Land they actually sell you wine. They actually sell you wine in jars. But of course, not a big jar at this high, no. They, they have it in the bottles like this. Beautiful. Uh, if you are American passport, it's expensive. But if you are other nationalities, it's not as expensive. So when you go there, don't be American. <laughs> Any other question? Let's include that in the program. <clears throat> the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we can never thank you enough, Lord, for your goodness and kindness and generosity, for all the blessings and the graces you.
bestow upon us day after day, minute by minute, minute after minute, as we journey through this life towards our final destination, which hopefully is your kingdom in heaven. As we lift ourselves to you in supplication, those uh, we hold dear in the silence of our hearts, we ask that you continue to bless us, Lord, and if you bring more souls to this class, so more souls will benefit from the studies and the notes we give away here every week. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we have prayers. <clears throat> Special prayer of healing for John. If it be your will, Lord God, you know there's nothing impossible to you. But John is now home, still in hospice, and uh, I guess waiting for his time. We, we would wish that he be healed, but only if it be your will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Special mention on uh, Leonel Ann, who is one of our own, that you continue to bless her and pour out all your spirit to her so she can continue to be strong and mindful of her vocation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for anyone, anyone else who is sick in body and in spirit, that you make them feel your love, mercy, compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We also pray for those uh, other souls who used to come here to our class, that you will touch their hearts and their minds, that they will come back and they can continue their journey towards you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We also pray for Pope Benedict XVI and all those who minister the church, that you will continue to guide them, inspire them, and move them, so they can do only as you will. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for those who are traveling uh, by air, by land, by sea, that you will keep them free from harm, from any danger. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. You may say your personal prayers now. Intentions known only to God, we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And together we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And bless us, O Lord, with these wonderful gifts which are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.